talk to me about uh, about uh, Ketlin and going uh, against a, a solid opponent, someone who is, well, I think, has two losses in her career. What, what are the challenges that she is going to present for you? She's tough. You know, yeah. she throws she throws punches with intent. She wants to make you hurt. She's strong in the clinch. She's got her trip. She's got her takedowns. She's got a lot of heavy pressure when she's on top. So she has a lot of things that make her a very difficult fighter, a very, very difficult opponent. Uh, I'm just ready for all of it, and I'm going to be better at any of those situations. You know, you go in there and you win, Holly. Where do you think that puts you? Does that, does that get you a title fight? Are you one fight away? Where, uh, where does this leave you after you win this fight? Oh, I definitely think that that, that's, that could be the very next step you know I can, if I win this I feel like the very next fight could be for a title um, and that's why I need to make the most of this fight and any fight I have I, I treat as my last fight only because I need it's that important because it could be your last opportunity you never know so I just got to get through this fight and uh, make the most of it and that's what my goal is is to show people that I'm still in love. Last question. Speaking uh, of every fight possibly being your last, you have done so much in this sport. Do you ever think about walking away? I mean, is it is it theoretically possible that you could go in there, win, and say, "Okay, I'm I'm done with this now. I've I've done I've done everything already, and time for something new." Or or are you still, hey, I want to be a fighter. I want to be champion, and I'm committed. No, uh, I still want to be a champion, and I'm committed 100. percent Otherwise, what would my purpose even be right now you know right uh yeah that's my goal is to be champion